Hello all, welcome to the derivative series. In this series, we will look at modules describing derivatives products. Let's begin this module on swaps contract. At the end of this module, you should be able to define swaps. List the characteristics of swaps contract. Name the major types of swaps. Illustrate how interest rate swap works. Illustrate how credit default swap works. Illustrate how total return swap works. What is a swap? A swap is an agreement between two parties to exchange sequences of cash flows such as interest rate, foreign exchange rate or commodity price for a set period of time. Swaps Swaps are a series of forward contracts. They are customized contracts and are traded over the counter. Since they are traded in OTC market, there is always the risk of a counterparty defaulting on the swap. Types of swaps In this module we will understand interest rate swap, credit default swap, and total return swap through examples. Let's begin with interest rate swap. Let's assume there are two companies, company A and company B, and say they have issued bonds worth of 1,000 rupees each with a maturity of 10 years. Company A pays 10% fixed coupon rate annually and company B pays floating rate. If the market interest rate reduces to 8%, company A will end up paying 2% higher interest to its bondholders and on the other hand if the interest rate rises to 12.5%, Company B will end up paying a higher interest of 2.5% to its bondholders. Hence, to hedge themselves against the adverse movement of the interest rates, both these parties get into a contract for an agreed time period to exchange the cash flows arising out of the difference in the interest rates. In this scenario, if the interest rate increases to 12.5%, then Company B will pay the 2.5% difference to Company A. Let's move to credit default swap. The credit default swap offers insurance in case of default by a borrower. Assume Alex has bought a 10-year 8% bond worth 1,000 rupees from company C. Alex is worried that the company C may default on principal or interest payment in future. So Alex approaches Rita, a third party, to hedge against this risk by getting into a credit default swap contract. Here, Alex pays a premium say 20 rupees annually to Rita for an agreed time period and if company C defaults for his principal and interest, Rita would pay him 2000 rupees as per agreement. On the other hand, if company C does not default, Rita gets to keep the premiums paid by Alex. Finally, about total return swap. A total return swap gives an investor the benefits of owning securities without actual ownership. Assume John holds shares of D company worth 1000 rupees and he enters into a TRS contract with Marlin. Now Marlin gets the benefit of owning John's securities. During the swap estimation, if D company pays the dividend or share price increases, Marlin will transfer those benefits to John in return of a predetermined interest rate. Here, Marlin receives the rate of return even without holding the actual shares. We have come to the end of this module. Now you should be able to define swaps. List the characteristics of swaps contract. Name the major types of swaps. Illustrate how interest rate swap works. Illustrate how credit default swap works. Illustrate how total return swap works.